Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Night 3 on Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. This is going to be a pretty short guide. I believe that this night is actually easier than Night 2, as there's only two segments, and I don't believe either of them are really that tricky once you know what to do. Also, before we get into it, I'd like to quickly mention my community Discord server. You guys know I don't usually like doing self-promotion stuff at the start of a video, but if you're struggling with a FNAF game, I really think that this could help you out a lot. I'm active there frequently, and we've got several people who are very experienced with FNAF and are willing to help you overcome any challenge. So if these guides help you, why not join the server? You can get personalized feedback or just chill with an awesome community. The link to the server can be found in the description, and the cards, and even in my about page. Promotion aside, let's talk night three. There's two major segments of this night, the Funtime Auditorium segment and the Parts of Service segment. These are both tricky at first, but really easy once you get the hang of them. At the start of the night, just follow hand unit's instructions until you get to this area with both vents open. At this point, you can go through the center vent to get a cool lore-related easter egg, or you can go through the vent on the right to progress through the night and enter Funtime Auditorium. So once you get into Funtime Auditorium, you're going to see options to crawl, which is walk, or uh, hold W shift, and then you can run. You can also press space to flash the beacon. So you're going to be following a very simple pattern. You're going to run, not walk, but run forward six to seven steps, then you're gonna stop and you're gonna press space and flash the beacon. So if Funtime Foxy is not visible on the screen, then repeat this, six to seven steps, remember to run, and then go ahead and stop and use the flash beacon. However, if Funtime Foxy is in your vision, anywhere on the screen, like even an arm on the side of the screen, then you're going to stop, not move, and you're just going to spam the flash beacon over and over until Funtime Foxy retreats out of view. So, once Funtime Foxy is no longer in your view, then go ahead and keep running forward. Just hold Shift W for six to seven more steps, and then just repeat the process over and over until you get to the parts and service door. A lot of people say that you can run to the parts and service door at a certain point without Funtime Foxy moving at all, and while that is true, I don't recommend relying on it because you might end up doing it too early and die as a result. So it makes a lot more sense to just continue as normal, in my opinion. Uh, so anyway, now you arrive at the parts and service segment with Funtime Freddy. There are four buttons on his faceplate, which I'm continuously moving my mouse over right now in case you can't see them. So you're going to have to press these in a certain order, which are below Funtime Freddy's right cheek, below his left cheek, uh, right next to his right eye, and then right above his nose. So something important to keep in mind, just in case you get confused about my warding at all, I mean Funtime Freddy's right cheek, which is actually on your left. Just remember that. So anyway, you're going to do right cheek. Remember, Funtime Freddy's right. Uh, you're going to do right cheek, left cheek. Uh, next to right eye, and then right above nose. And there's going to be a mini jump scare here where his face plate's open, so prepare for that. There we go. Alright, so now there's going to be one more button that you have to press, which is kind of hard to see. It's below his endoskeleton head, so I'm going to move my mouse over it in just a second. There we go. There it is. So just go ahead and press that. And then his chest cavity is going to open, and you can grab that disc out of there. Alright, so now here comes the actual challenge. So it's going to tell you to get the secondary power module from the Bonnie Hand Puppet. And when you move up to Funtime Freddy's right hand, then the Bonnie Hand Puppet is going to be gone. He's going to be hiding behind Funtime Freddy, and he's going to be a massive pain to catch. So what I discovered is just kind of slightly moving a flashlight around and waiting for him to appear. Sometimes he won't appear at all, and it's very tricky to deal with him. So most people won't actually tell you to do this, but what I found helped, I'm going to fast forward it here, uh, is I went ahead and moved my mouse, or if you're on console or mobile, just move around like in circles with your finger or controller. So you're going to move around in circles in the bottom left corner for about 7 to 8 seconds, then you're going to slowly pan up, and he's going to be behind Funtime Freddy's left shoulder. Again, Funtime Freddy's left shoulder, which is on your right. So once you see him there, you're going to slowly pan the flashlight up, and then once you think you can, then you're going to move up real quick and go ahead and click on that giant button. Alright, so after this, you can go ahead and go back through Funtime Auditorium. Do not worry about Funtime Foxy, you can just go uh, full steam ahead here. Funtime Foxy is going to jump scare you, but don't worry, that is scripted, and it begins night four. There is nothing you can do to avoid this, so just go ahead and run forward. Went ahead and muted the jump scare there, so you guys didn't have to worry about that. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, there you go. Now night four will begin immediately. Night four is going to be a bit of a pain for sure. But there you go, guys. Night three is done. Once again, don't forget to join the community Discord server and leave a comment below if you have any questions. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it helped you, and I will see you in the next one.